Alright guys, welcome back, and we are doing, this is the second part of the Minecraft tutorial for making this image, which I don't have, anyway I'll just put it on the screen. Um, yeah, so, let me just open it up. This is the second part of making this image, or almost that image, yep. So, first, in the first tutorial we imported this scene into Blender, and made it kind of look like Minecraft, and yep. If you remember that, this is what it looks like. So, in the second part of the tutorial, I said we were going to do the water. And this is it. This is the water. It looks pretty good. And also, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, water. Now, first off, I in the first tutorial, I said move the water to a different layer so it's going to be easier to work with. And if you haven't done that, just select the water and press M, move to the new layer. Now, when you have the water, you're going to go into Material and just delete that. Okay, you don't want anything to do with the normal Minecraft water. Um, so now, click on New and just name this Material Water or whatever you want to call it. The Diffuse is going to be the color of your water, so just make it like a nice blue color or if it's in the jungle, a kind of teal, gray, cyanish color, whatever. Um, yeah, the specularity, just leave it at white. And make this from Cook Tor into Ward ISO or Ward ISO. And make the in intensity 0 0.8. Close up diffuse, close up specular, and close up shading. Now click on transparency, make it ray trace. Uh, make sure your Fresnel, uh, make sure your alpha is 0 0.2. Uh, yeah, it's gonna look kind of transparent like that, and make the IOR 1.3. So it's gonna have like a kind of refraction, I guess. Um, but this is important because this is what makes it look like water. And yeah, if you uh, look at it like this, it's kind of refracting its surroundings. Um, yep. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's it. For transparency, close it up, make sure you click on mirror, make the reflectivity 0 0.7, and uh, make the color light blue. Um, yeah, and then just, uh, you're not going to need anything else, just close up, and then shadow, uncheck receive. That's it for the materials, just go into texture. Yeah, it kind of looks good for now, and then but we're gonna look if I show you um, yeah any minute okay so as you can see it kinda looks good it looks uh, pretty nice for minecraft to water and yeah it's reflecting our surroundings and all that stuff but then we wanna make it like kind of bumpy like normal water does and if you for do, to do that just go into texture um, this tab and then click on new and then name it let it be on clouds and you're going to go and put the size down to 0 0.1 so that's gonna be kinda tiny waves and open mapping make the coordinates global um, yep that's everything and make sure you have it on normal Make this into two. Change this RGB thing to about a little bluish color, and make the method original. All right, that uh, seems like it's it. Now, if you look in the texture, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna look like water. It's like you're looking at it from above when you render it now. And yeah, that's basically it for the water part of the tutorial. Now, uh, the next part of the tutorial is creating the crepuscular rays or the god rays of this. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be this. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you check the next video on how to make the god rays or crepuscular rays. And I will see you all in the next video.